Hi there, and welcome back to the M5 Stack official channel. I'm Luke, and as in the last video, I told you we'd be off to Tokyo Maker Faire. So here's a little bit of an update on that. Firstly, we went to visit Switch Science, our distributor in Japan. We had a few meetings and a tour of their offices, which also has a workshop and testing facility. We met with the CEO of an ambient data platform who plans to release a book. The book is titled M5 Stack for Everyone as intended for IoT beginners. Initially it's only for the Japanese market, but perhaps we'll have a translation later on. The evening of that day we went to the offices of Omron for our M5 Stack meetup. There are over 120 fans of M5 Stack turned up, some coming from as far as Kumamoto, southwestern Japan. M5 Stack CEO Jimmy Lai kicked off the proceedings with an introduction of M5 Stack. The following talks featured a range of subjects, from developing your own custom M5 Stacks to using the moddable JavaScript SDK with M5 Stack and various other DIY projects. Some users had brought along their M5 stack creations. A personal favorite of mine was this self-balancing Stick C robot, which we can see in action here. This is an early prototype, but as you can see, it's working pretty well already. There was a short intermission when everyone could socialize over highballs and Suntory beer. Following the break, Soracom released the info about their M5 stack 3G module and their Soracom eSIM service. We've just added support for this module in UI Flow and are looking forward to seeing people's creations with it. Some M5 Stack fans had even DIY'd their own M5 Stack gear, including this M5 Stack helmet. It was incredible to see the passion of the M5 Stack fans in Japan, and we all made a lot of new friends. The meetup ended with a performance on a wacky instrument called an Optron. The performer used M5 Stack to control his guitar pedals. After a much needed rest, we arrived at the Maker Faire the following day. Our booth was located right in the middle of the Maker Faire along with Switch Science. Many M5 Stack fans came by our booth to say hi and to place their projects in our booth for display such as this robot which combines Ricoh Theta 360 camera with the M5 Stack Bala, and a crawling line tracing robot which combines Tamiya kits with M5 Stack. We'd also prepared a bunch of our own product demos, including this stick fee image recognition setup, and a demo board showing off each of the capabilities of the stick C hats. When I got chance, I went for a look around the Maker Faire, and was surprised to see so many projects using the M5 Stack. This project used a stripped-down M5 stack inside a 3D printed enclosure to create a spherical POV display. M5 stack user Ogi Mitoki is a father with a handicapped son. He uses M5 stack to create all kinds of rehabilitation toys. A lot of them are focused around trains as that's one of his son's favorite things. The Soracom booth was showing off the capabilities of the M5 stack Soracom module. They had a demo that was getting live weather and map data from a Yahoo platform. M5 Stack is also supported on the Obnis platform, a promising IoT platform which uses JavaScript. There were too many M5 Stack projects to mention, but a lot of them focused around the IoT industry. After the Maker Faire, we made a visit to the Sony headquarters. In the lobby, they have a nicely curated history of the company. We had a short tour of the Sony Creative Lounge, which is a makerspace for Sony employees and referred friends. For 2,000 yen a month, you can use a whole bunch of machines, from laser cutters to 3D printers and more. We were shown around by Takahiko Higawara, the founder of Sony's Mesh Project, which uses some Bluetooth-connected finger-sized modules that are connected by a node-based app for use in STEM education. After our trip to Sony, we're headed down to Akihabara, which is famous for electronics, cosplay, games, and much more. We were here, though, for checking out the electronics markets that were selling M5 Stack. Quite a number of shops were either selling M5 Stack or using it to control displays. We had a great afternoon in the market and bought a lot of electronic gadgets. 
That about sums it up for our Tokyo trip. Thanks to Switch Science for supporting us and all the makers that are supporting M5 Stack in Japan. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.